Welcome back. Well, the markets have bounced off the low point of the day. You have your reference point for the day, 17,825. Well, that's going to be the crucial zone. Earlier, the call today was buy closer to around the 17,800-odd mark. You got the intraday dip, and that's uh, you know working out, at least as of now, because you're on the verge of moving into the green. But let's talk to another corporate, PSP Projects. They won an order of around 1,300 crore rupees in Gujarat to construct a high-rise office building. With this, PSP Projects, the uh, it has exceeded the FY23 order inflow of close to 2,500 crores. To understand this particular order, when does it reflect into business? And also the outlook from year on, we're joined by Mr. P.S. Patel, the chairman and MD and CEO of the company. Hi, Mr. Patel. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining in. Well, it's a rather Good large morning. order that you've won. Could you tell us when it, does it start reflecting in terms of financials, a revenue recognition for this particular order? And also, what kind of margins will you enjoy on it? This order is we have just uh, received the LOA, but probably one, one and a half month or not year, we'll get the final order code and the agreement. So probably the uh, revenue generation for this project will start somewhere in the uh, first quarter of March, uh, after March 23. And the okay. margins which we always consider at the same whatever we have been bidding since, uh, since now, so the project margin will not be different than what we are gaining now. <laughs> Okay, so can you tell us what is the revised order inflow guidance for the rest of the year? What are you looking at? Yeah, previously we thought of because of I usually take this as 25% more than what revenue we are planning. So we give a projection of 2,500 crore, but we have already reached 2,393 or about 2,300 crore. Still, there is one L1 order which I am expecting to get uh, per quarter by uh, next 10 days or so. And further, also we have some uh, uh, feed pipeline. So probably this year we should reach to 4,000 crores. <clears throat> okay, so 4,000 crores is what you'll reach this year. Uh, then in FY24, mm. do you have any kind of visibility on what orders you could, what orders could come through and what could the growth be for FY24 orders? See, FY24, again, the same uh, scenario. Presently also, we, what, what I personally see is the economical uh, investment from the corporates and the real estate as a well government is coming up with so high. So probably uh, the orders which we have concluded till now, all the orders are from Gujarat. Still, there are plenty of projects which have been announced in Gujarat from the government level and at the private level also. If you see the investment uh, announced by Aslan Vittal, where we are working, Adani Energy, where we are working, uh, uh, Reliance Energy, where we are working. So probably we should be in the same range at least minimum next year. <clears throat> Okay, all right. Uh, Mr. Patel, you know, you said this uh, Surat order will start reflecting yeah. post-March 23. In yeah. FY24, how much of it will be recognized in your books? See, this is the about 1350, uh, 1340. See, this is the about 1350, uh, 1344 crore. It will be completed in 36 months. So, probably 350 to 400 crore should be reflected next year. <clears throat> All right, completed. Okay. All right. And Mr. Patel, then for FY24, what kind of a revenue outlook do you have given that, you know, you'll be getting a bit of a tailwind from this particular order, 350 crores odd. What kind of a revenue growth are you looking at? And you said that this order will enjoy the similar margins that you're currently enjoying. I'm just looking at your past few quarters. You've been in that vicinity of around 11 to around 14%. Uh, for this order, I mean, what should that number be? So revenue growth for FY24 and rough margins as well. So revenue growth will be um, in the range of 20 to 25 percent, whatever we have been doing till now. So we, uh, since we have uh, uh, projected this year revenue about 2400 to 2200, so probably the adding of the this order and at least the projection which we have given of 2500 crore and reaching an order book of 4000 crore, we should be in the we should be able to make uh, revenue growth of more than 25 percent next year. <clears throat> More than, what sir, I missed that number, 25 or 35 percent for next year? Yeah. Revenue growth of what, 25 percent or 35 percent? 25 to 35 percent because the week of the Got it. <clears throat> and what, a, what about margins? What should it be? If you could margin, us, uh, actually, see, the margin is, uh, will remain on the same line as we, as I always say. It is on the tendering basis and on the 
selection cases, then we put for a tender. We only be when the uh, competition is niche, and we are mm. not compromised anywhere on the margin. And when the qualification qualifying criteria are high, and only few companies getting qualified, we being a smaller company, still we are able to maintain our overheads. So we are able to be a bit competitive to other larger companies in construction. So we are really able to maintain the same margin. Sir, so looking out for a number, sir. We are looking out for a number. Twelve to thirteen yeah, percent. Yeah, 11 to 13, 11 to 12, 12.5, something like that. Okay, so 11 to 12.5% is the broad range that you're working with, with a growth of around 25 to around 35% for next year. Got that. Yeah. Also, if yeah. you could tell us, how is your balance sheet looking like? Because executing orders is good news, winning orders is good news. But uh, what is your balance sheet looking like? And will you have to raise some debt? No, actually, we are still able to maintain our working capital within the net accruals and whatever the exposures which we have from the banks, we are still having a free uh, FD of about more than 150 to 200 crore. So probably there won't be any requirement of debt. <clears throat> okay, and as of now, you are, uh, what's the debt status? You have no debt in your books? No, presently we have not learned too much long-term debt. So I think there is a short-term debt of about 1800. <clears throat> short-term debt of how much? 8200 crores. 8200 crores, all right. And you also have an FD, I think, is what you said uh, against yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's about oh. 200 crores. Okay, all right. Uh, also, give us a sense about, uh, you know, some new orders that were likely to come in from the parliament in Delhi. Uh, could you tell us, uh, you know, a, a quick status update on that? Yeah, because uh, till now we were not getting qualified, but the last project which have been announced is MP offices, which was first came up as fourteen fifty, and then again the tender has been revised to twelve fifty, and this is a pre-qualification bid, so we are going to bid for that project, and probably that that uh, bid of pre-qualification will go in next uh, next week. <clears throat> <clears throat> all right, uh, sir, thank you very much for your time. Good speaking with you and all the best uh, for uh, your plans going forward. The market is, uh, be, uh, is absolutely flat now, just 12 points lower. Uh, so it's a very strong, decent pullback that we have on our hands at uh, 17,900 now. Now, as promised, our special segment, quarter say quarter tuck, we look at sectoral expectations.